Hey guys, Ryan here. And in this quick video, I want to walk you through Uber Suggest, which is my favorite keyword research tool. It's my favorite tool for a few different reasons, which we'll get into. Uh, but one is the price. So let's take a look at Uber Suggest, the price. Now they do have a free version and I think you can get like three searches a day, but when you're really doing keyword research and you're working on your SEO and writing content and working on your homepage keywords, you're going to want to do more than three searches a day. So I recommend tw this individual one website, $29 a month, you can cancel at any time. And it's a great deal because you can work on your website for three months, pause or cancel, and then go back and resubscribe if needed. They also have a seven day free trial. So if you know you can just jam out all of your keyword research in seven days, you could do that as well. But I promise you, once you get in and see all of the pro features, you're not going to want to miss out on this. So this is one of the reasons why I love this keyword research tool. Uh, you can see down here, they actually compare it to some of the other uh, more popular keyword research tools like Ahrefs, SEMrush, and Moz. And these are very expensive tools. They're great tools as well. Awesome tools. However, you're paying a really big price to get pretty much the same features as what Uber suggests is going to do for you. So let's jump over and dive into uh, the keyword research part of Uber Suggest. So uh, when you sign up, there's going to be a handful of different tools that Uber Suggest will offer you. You're going to have a dashboard. You're going to be able to enter your domain and it'll do a big site audit for you. You can see here, it'll show you an on-page SEO score. If you hover over the question mark, will actually tell you all about what that means. So it's very user-friendly. It's going to give you an organic monthly traffic. This is just to give you a, a high level overview of what's going on with your website. You can see the keywords that are found on your website, organic keywords, and these are a bunch of keyword variations, and then also a list of backlinks. So tons of great information. Again, if some of this doesn't make sense to you, I would just encourage you to sign up and get in here and plug your domain in and start reading some of these blurbs and it'll start making sense to you. And it actually gets very exciting when you see data behind your website, you're actually able to make data-driven decisions. And if you know me, I love data-driven decisions. So every decision we make in our business, especially when it comes to our online website, we need data to back up the decisions that we make. And that is what is going to push the needle forward when growing our website. Let's start off with keyword research. This is probably my favorite tool here. Let's say I want to rank for the keyword of show at SEO, which I already do, but I'll show you how I use this tool to actually get there. So first off, I would type in show it SEO and I would hit enter. Now, Uber suggest is going to show us a handful of information, search volume. It's going to be the number of searches in the particular keyword during this month. So basically it's saying 90 people are searching for show at SEO every month. Now, a lot of you may think, well, that's not a lot of people. Like I'm looking for like 18,000 people, you know, going to a search keyword and that's great as well. But the thing is, if a keyword is getting 18,000 searches a month, the difficulty is going to be incredibly high. So this SEO difficulty, the number will be very high and it'll be very difficult to rank for. Not only will it be difficult to rank for the competitors that you're going to be going up against are much larger, probably corporations. For example, if we type in photography, so 301,000 people are searching this per month. Awesome. Right. But how hard is it to get on page one? Well, the SEO difficulty is a 90. That is incredibly high. It's incredibly difficult to rank for the keyword photography. So this, if you remember when I talked about long tail keywords, mid tail keywords and short tail keywords, this is going to be able to show you the difference between a long tail and a short tail keyword. Now, if I go and I do Sarasota beach wedding photography, now that's a, a much longer tail keyword than just photography. And you'll notice that the search volume is obviously very low and the SEO difficulty with that is also very low. Now, one thing I do want to point out, this is a great example here is 
a lot of times you'll see zero it doesn't necessarily mean it's zero. It just means that the keyword isn't necessarily strong enough for Uber suggests algorithm to really collect data on that. So if you really want to rank for something like Sarasota Beach wedding photography, because you know that's your audience and you know that people are searching that, even though it says zero, I would say definitely try to rank for this. I've tried to rank for keywords that have search volume of zero and I definitely get traffic from them as well. Even if it's only 30 people a quarter, that's going to be so much better because those 30 people are looking for exactly what my website is talking about rather than a general page that may or may not answer the question that they're looking for. So basically, the longer the tail keyword, the more qualified your traffic is going to be. However, usually it is the lower search volume. Now let's take beach out and just do Sarasota wedding photography. Now, obviously you'll see the search volume goes up. So now we have 50 people approximately per month looking for Sarasota wedding photography. Now that's awesome. The SEO difficulty is 38. So it's not uh, too difficult, but it's definitely not something in the teens or even low twenties. I usually try to stick around keywords that have an SEO difficulty of around 25 or less if I really know, uh, want to get on page one because that's going to be the easiest. Obviously, the longer your um, website is online and the higher quality of content that you put onto a page, the better chance you have of ranking for that keyword. So again, this is not impossible. You can absolutely rank for something that has an SEO difficulty of 38. It's really difficult once you start getting past 50, I will say that. Impossible, absolutely not. Uh, it just is going to take a lot more work and strategy around that specific keyword, which Uber suggest will actually inform you on ways to, to really help you rank for that keyword. Okay. Now, another really cool thing you can do within Uber suggest is let's say you have Sarasota wedding photography, and that seems like a really great keyword. What if we changed photography to photographer? We hit enter and wow, look at that. The search volume is now 480 and the SEO difficulty is actually the same as photography. Now, this is probably because Google's algorithm is taking Sarasota wedding photographer and Sarasota wedding photography and combining the results. So whether you type that into Google or Sarasota wedding photography into Google, the results are going to be the same. And that's probably why the SEO difficulty is uh, similar. However, I usually look at this and I go, okay, well, if I'm going to try to get someone that wants to rank for Sarasota wedding photography, I'm going to try to include Sarasota wedding photographer just as many times on the homepage as Sarasota wedding photography. Now, another really cool feature about Uber suggest keyword research tool is this search volume by month. What you could do if you are preparing your website is take a look at when people are searching for the keyword you want to rank for most, and just make sure during those months that you're updating your content accordingly to make sure that is the best content available and also making sure that you write content before the big surge of search volume. So if you have a content calendar going and you know that one of the keywords you want to rank for is going to boom in May, then make sure that you update that post or create that post in March or April before the big rush of search. And that is going to help you just gain a little bit more traffic. So obviously you could take this and every single keyword is going to be different, but it's a really cool feature within Uber suggest. Now, if we scroll down, we're also going to see keyword ideas. This is probably one of the most powerful features within Uber suggest keyword research tool. And what this is going to do is show you related keywords. Now, sometimes these related keywords are going to be very off topic and won't make sense, but often you'll find little nuggets of gold in here and they're going to really help you with exact match keywords that you could be adding to your blog posts and your homepage. For example, we can see this Sarasota, Florida photographers or wedding photographer, Sarasota, Florida. Now this is a good one. What you'll want to do is just make sure that you add this keyword to your homepage as well. If you add, if you're trying to rank for Sarasota wedding photographer. So the more keyword variations you have, and the, especially the more exact match keyword variations you have, uh, is going to show Google, this is what that page is all about. So obviously Google is 
saying that these keywords are similar to what we have here. And so we want to make sure that we take all the keywords that are relevant and add them to our website. Now, another really cool feature within Uber Suggest is this content ideas area. This is basically just going to give you some ideas of what other people are writing or how their homepage is set up to actually get ranked on page one. So you'll definitely want to do some competitor research, basically opening up these links, analyzing what their website looks like and how many times they state a certain keyword. And then basically you just want to outperform those results and you'll probably end up on page one. Now there's a lot more to Uber suggest than just the keyword research part, like the site audit and the backlinks overview, which are all really, really powerful tools. I won't get into them too much here, but I would uh, definitely recommend going and again, plugging your domain into Uber suggest and taking a look at your on-page SEO score. Uh, see if there's any SEO issues discovered. And if there are, it will show you how to fix them. And then also it'll show you some of your site speed and how to improve that. I hope you found this video helpful. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.